Today I show you step by step how I painted this model and algorid as a star player for Blood Bowl. So I started with a black primer, this is Chaos Black from Citadel, and then I start to apply um, white. This is um, base, uh, white base by Vareo. Uh, I apply white all over the runes, which will be the first step. Uh, we were trying to cover all the runes in order to paint a very bright purple afterwards. So I apply thin layers of white until I get very clean white, which I want to get this very bright color. Uh, I also cover a bit of parts I know would be white afterwards, like uh, the face and the hair, uh, also the close part between his legs. Uh, the aim here is to get very, a very clean white. The next step is to apply purple. So I use Xerius purple from Citadel. Uh, this is a very bright color. Um, and for this first step, painting the runes, I don't want a very strong purple. I want something a bit light. So I will use a lot of thinner, applying very thin layers uh, with a hairbrush. And then to increase the gradient from purple to white, I use uh, air white from Valley Rogan, but not the same one. This one is a lot thinner. Uh, it's just to get uh, a stronger white in some parts of the runes, like the middle of the back and the shoulders. Also the white base from Vario can be a bit dusty, so this one is a lot uh, smoother. So you should get a nice gradient uh, between the purple and the white on all the runes. Here I apply some white on the face. I know it will be white in the end. So I'm already getting this uh, white face with a bit of uh, purple shade. Um, yeah, I don't want strong purple on the face anyway, so I can already paint my face with an airbrush. Uh, eventually that will be increased afterwards uh, with our standard brush and shades, but they're gonna, gonna have a good base. Now the next step is to protect all the runes, all the painting we did on the runes um, with a masking fluid. This one is a masking fluid for artists. So for that, I use an old small brush uh, because I want to be quite precise, so I need a small brush, but the masking fluid is very hard to uh, to clean, so I don't want to ruin a new brush. Uh, so like this one you see on the video is quite all right, having a small, but yeah, not brand new. Uh, we need to be precise, but not very well. As you can see, the recess parts uh, are easy to cover. You just fill in the runes, uh, using the, the masking fluid uh, to go in the rest of parts. Uh, it might not be very precise, but anyway, I plan to um, highlight the runes or fix them afterwards. So I just want to cover the runes and trying to avoid the skin. So when we will paint the next step, the skin, and then remove the masking fluid, we should get a very nice effect. As you can see, um, the masking fluid is very thick and it's getting all over the brush. So yeah, the hair is fine. As long as the hair is fine, you can use it. At some point, you might have a lot of masking fluid going around your brush as it's very thick and it sticks a lot, as you can see here. Um, yeah, it's a time to um, clean the brush, uh, removing a bit of the masking fluid to get yeah, a cleaner brush to Move again. So here I applied the masking fluid all over the runes. Uh, I wait for about 
15 minutes or half an hour to make sure this is dry before I start to apply the next color. So the next step is to cover the skin of the hograide with purple. This is Xerius purple from Citadel, very strong uh, purple, we get very nice bright effects on the model. Um, I cover most of it at the moment, uh, going from the dark places where I need to cover with white, so we're gonna have a very dark purple, to the white parts we're gonna have a lighter purple. Uh, from this concept, I want to have a light purple on the front, going to a darker purple in the back and even darker on the legs. So I try to cover most of the model with this purple, which will be my base for the skin. So once the purple has been sprayed almost everywhere, you can have lighter parts like the shoulder and arms that we know will be lighter in hand. Uh, next, we will paint some shadows on the dark parts, uh, especially on the lower part, the legs, with Night Lord's blue. Uh, yeah, I'm using blue here uh, to get some more colors on the model instead of mixing just purple and black. Uh, we will maybe be a bit more boring, so the blue gets more color in it. And the blue mix very well with the purple. I've been experimenting with purple uh, and blue. Blue is a very nice color to use for the shadows of, pur of the purple model. So I apply this um, blue on the legs and also on the top parts to create some shadows um, around the neck, uh, on the arms and so on. The hands gonna be a bit darker. After this first blue shade, I go with black, increasing the shadows, especially on the legs, uh, that I want to be almost black on some parts. So we're gonna have this very nice shade from purple, blue and black on the legs. So very rich colors here. I don't use the black on the top parts because I don't want the top part of the models to be darker. So only on the legs and inside the hands too. So black covers a lot, so you want to mix it with a lot of thinner uh, and apply thin layers to get up to the point where we're gonna have uh, a nice shade. And because if you go strong too strong with the black, you're gonna cover everything and yeah, you won't see anything anymore. I also use a bit of black in the back to increase the, this dark effect on the back. Next step is to increase the light on the purple. Uh, so I mix Xerius purple with white. This is very white this time. And again, with quite a lot thinner because I just want to blend and slightly get to a brighter color. But I don't want to cover everything, so I want to be very smooth. So with this mix of purple and white, I also paint um, an highlight on the um, on the tail I didn't do uh, the first time, so this, I want to get a lighter tail. So instead of painting only purple on black, I highlight my tail again, like I do on the shoulders and on around the head. And then I use Xerius Purple alone again to blend the effect I just did, uh, increasing the purple effect on some parts, especially um, to create some shadows again around the, the shoulder, uh, going this time from very light purple to a purple and not going to blue. Um, I blend again the tail to get this dark tail going to a lighter tail. And that's pretty much it for now. Uh, next, we will have to remove the masking tape in order to reveal the runes. It's gonna be a tricky one and I'll show you this in the next video in which I will also show you how I paint uh, all of the details on this algorithm. See you in the next video!